Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's go Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing. Everything that you guys do never goes unnoticed, and we really do appreciate you guys. Hope you're doing alright. May you stay blessed. Find us on Facebook and Instagram as Fanny and Jesse. Head there to say hi, and we'll say hi back. Our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0 where we post vlogs. Go there, subscribe, and enjoy the content that we put out. Please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. Just give me the name or the link of whatever you want me to react to, and I'll be sure to check it out. And today I'm going to be reacting to Arab Arab Christian challenged and we did that. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. It was at the end of the great historical debate in the Royal Albert Hall, London, on the 7th of July, 1985, between Professor Floyd E. Clark of the United States of America and Mr. Ahmed Didat of South Africa, that Dr. Soroche confronted Mr. Didat for the first time during the question and answer session at the aforementioned meeting on the subject, Was Christ Crucified? This liberated Palestinian, now a citizen of the United States, well-spoken and immaculately dressed, was easily mistaken for a Pakistani. Now, listen to his well-articulated English and still more eloquent Arabic at question time and Mr. Didat's reply. I would like to say that I'm grateful for this opportunity and my questions are actually two. Number one, if the Quran is indeed from God, does it contradict itself in as much as it says okay. mm -hmm. therefore Jesus was born, he died and he rose again. The second question, if God... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The rules, the rules of the game is to ask one question and get the back so that other people will have a chance. Right. Thank you. Now the question is directed to Mr. Didat. Mr. Right. Didat. Thank you. The verse in question is Wassalamu alayya yawma wulidtu wa yawma amutu wa yawma ubasu hayya which translated means so peace is on me the day that I was born the day that I die and the day that I shall be raised to life again the day that I die it is not the day that I died it is not died it is in the future Mr. Didat did not know during his lecture tour of Britain that he was being followed Subsequently, at the end of one of his lectures in the City Hall of Birmingham during question time, which is one of the regular features at every lecture of Mr. Didat, Dr. Soroche came forward to challenge Mr. Didat to a public debate. Fortunately, in this advanced electronic age, we were able to capture Dr. Soroche on video to reproduce for you this historical record. And I'm giving you a blank check to 
hire the oil and petrol. On the subject, you can choose, I give them to you. We have already discussed the cultivation. And we don't want to bore the people with the same thing again and again. You can choose subjects like in Jesus God. Is Jesus God? Because I know the Christian, I don't know whether you are one of those, but the Christian as a whole, they believe that Jesus Christ is God incarnate. Is Jesus God? Or is the Bible God's word? Or the truth about Trinity? Or Jesus man is from God? It's all being recorded. I think we can get a, a take of that. I said, is Jesus God? Or is the Bible God's word? Or the truth about Trinity? Or the Jesus man is from God? Uh, what an interesting video i mean i love how that wasn't reluctant to accept the challenge and gives options of what the topic can be about and offers the other guy um option to choose whatever he wants to talk about and before the video cuts you can actually hear the guy screaming um answering all of them that's interesting and in as much as challenges um they have like this dramatic thing to them and are interesting i personally would love for people to just have discussion one-on-one -on -one exchange ideas say our religion is this our religion is this but we have this in common you know such things that's what i personally want to see in this world because challenges are all about proving the other person wrong proving the other person that i'm right and something and the same thing goes on and on and on otherwise um i feel like right now in the world people are more willing to have conversations and um and people can have these and technology honestly has allowed us to have conversations anywhere in the world whatever time in the world over the internet you know so we're not limited we've got many many possibilities at our hands it's up to us to use them that's why i always um uh shout out to the people that actually comment on our videos or any other videos on the internet because one that's a form of communication two i feel like some people actually drop some gems in the comments they really drop some knowledge something that um I might not have known or maybe had a different view on and they told me something I'm like oh I never thought of it like this especially things especially political things because that's what I'm kind of studying but I'm not studying politics though yeah and I really get entertained by people's replies that always always interesting so for more for me I just wish for more uh, discussions in the future hope to see a lot of that and yeah, let me know what you guys actually think about this video. It's Arab Christian Challenge. I mean, do that. Let me know what you think about this particular video, your thoughts, your comments, how you thought the debate went. There's actually short clips on uh, the internet that many people have watched. I think I've reacted to one or two. I'm not sure, but one or two should be on our channel. So make sure to check them out. If there's anything else you want me to react to, let me know down below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next reaction video.